What's up, guys? So we're back here at the house. Got a couple of things in front of me right here. I don't know if y'all can see them, but we do have the table set up. I did end up keeping the Supreme chairs, y'all can see here. So uh, yeah, that'll be in the videos. But we got a couple pairs here of those Crimson Tint ones. I know I'm a little bit late with the video, but yesterday I was doing my family thing, running around, and it was just a take it easy day. If y'all follow me on Instagram, y'all saw that post. And I do have a shoe palette steel that I got. When I did go in for the shoes, took a quick look around and there was something there I couldn't pass up and it actually resembles kind of what I'm wearing right now. Shout out to my Spurs, they're actually playing tonight, game one at 9.30. Definitely gonna be seeing that game, rooting them on, go Spurs go. Anyways, enough talking guys, let's just get up in the, get up in the steel that I got real quick and I'll just show the receipt, where I'll, I'll just go over the receipt real quick. Basically, this item normally retails at $90, $89.99. I got $70 off, $20. Bucks. I got it for $20. Bucks. And like I said, it's similar to what I'm wearing right now. The setup's a little bit different. I don't know exactly if I'm looking right in this thing or whatever, if y'all can see good. This is the back of it. It has that gray, blue, and white, like striping on the, on the top, on the sides. And it is just the Dallas Cowboys, the same as this one. Has that size large, Mitchell and Ness. Normally retails for 90 bucks. Like I said, I got it for $20. So I definitely couldn't pass that up, especially since the season's about to start. So I thought that was a hell of a deal and I had to take advantage of it. Now, let's get into the shoes. I did pick up two pairs. I doubled up, not for personal though. One of them, let me get this out the way, get it out the bag. Shout out to Foot Action for this pair. And uh, this pair I got from Shoe Palace, as you can see. And I did pay the retail. I did get my size, because I'm not sure if I want to keep my size yet or not. If it'll focus, size 11 and a half. The colorway is black, crimson, bleh, black, crimson tint, and white. Of course, you know the ones US retail, 160. So they hit us with that light price tag. And I did get a size nine and a half which right now the sizes have actually went down in price and stuff. So it's not really uh, resale worthy, but I kind of got it just to see if I could, um, like for trade bid, I guess you could say. And because they didn't have an 11 and a half or 12, even though I was the first one in line somehow. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so I got this at Foot Action and this one at Shoe Palace. People at Shoe Palace were pretty cool. They said I'd probably be on their, I don't know, social media. I don't know if that's Instagram or what. But let's get into the shoes, check them out. Damn, y'all see them right there. And y'all probably seen a bunch of reviews. I just want to give y'all my two cents on this shoe. And put the box to the side for now. Hopefully y'all can see them pretty good right there. And you can't, okay. But dang, you see the, the shoes right here. It is a dope colorway. Not everybody's favorite because of the pink peach type of colorway to it. Uh, but it is a lot cleaner. And actually, like I said, this pair I may be holding on. This is my personal size. Damn. Yeah, I'm going to put them on the side right here. Ah, I need to scoot up a little bit. But yeah, I got I got the setup a little bit different now because I'm sitting down, so everything's a little bit different. The lighting's a little bit different as well. Uh, yeah, but we'll see how it goes moving forward. I'm going to keep trying to make adjustments to get that quality out to y'all. Y'all know how that goes. Uh, but the leather on these are actually... It's not too bad. The toe box is a smooth leather, as you can see, whereas the side panel of the shoe has like a tumbled, really tumbled leather. That reminds me of those, um, I forgot what the name of the shoe was, but the shoe sat, it actually went to the Nike outlet and it had this type of leather on the whole shoe. It was all black. I'll put it up here if I can get a picture because I don't remember what the exact name was, uh, but that's what that leather reminds me of. Uh, but it's a predominantly black upper with that uh, crimson tint, which looks like a peachy color. I'm not sure the camera's picking it up good, but pretty much it's that, that color that's showing right there. Um, and it has that Nike Air with that, that same color on the tongue. And like I said, it's not everybody's favorite colorway, but it, it is pretty dope. And it is somewhat the closest we're going to get to those, um, what were they called? The Art Basil pairs that came out. And I'm pretty sure somebody could do a custom getting this panel white and this panel white as well or leaving this panel the same color, which is what I may do with my personal pair, honestly. And you do have a couple of different laces, the black ones that are not laced up yet. 
You have that peach color, crimson tint color lace with green aglets. And also the green with, uh, actually green aglets. So it's just an all green, which I don't know where the green would come from. Uh, and I haven't seen any pictures of anybody rocking them with the green. Um, but yeah, overall the leather quality is decent. I'm not going to say it's buttery, but the, the black leather that's real tumbled is actually pretty soft. But the leather that's the smooth leather, which is on the toe box and on the heel area, and also right here where they have the, the wings logo, is actually kind of, I don't want to say tough, but it's not the softest leather. Um, so yeah, just trying to keep it 100 with y'all and give y'all my honest thoughts and review, my first looks and everything. And like I said, I got that extra size nine and a half. I might just sell it or I might just hold on to it because y'all know those snake skins are releasing next weekend. So kind of to offset that price. And I'm just being honest with y'all about what I what I picked up and what I did. And basically, I, I lost on every single raffle. Uh, I, I lost on every single raffle. Uh, I, I lost on every single raffle. Uh, um, for these, because since they released Friday, I went to the mall Thursday, and they already had locked in all of the reservations and as far as your your time uh, to get that extra minute for the check in. So I wasn't able to check in, and uh, yeah, basically I took my L on all of the apps, didn't have any pairs reserved. Uh, but since I was there the day before, which was Thursday, uh, one of the guys was saying he was gonna open at 8.30 and then uh, foot action set at nine. So I figured I'd just show up. Maybe it'll be hype, maybe it won't. Um, and we'll just see how it goes when I get there. But uh, luckily I was first in line, like I said, and then at foot action, there was a few, few people there. Um, but I don't know, uh, honestly, I was at another store as well and they didn't have anybody there, but somehow they, they were doing first come first serve and they didn't have any pairs under size nine and a half, nine and a half and up. So I don't know if they backdoored all the small sizes since those are basically the money sizes, but it is what it is. I'm happy I got my personal pair, which like I said, I'm still back and forth whether I'm gonna keep or not. I'm still thinking about it, but at least I got them here. So you know what it is, put them, put them up for a while and if the price goes up, may flip them or just use them as trade bait or just keep them and rock them. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. Comment down below if y'all went after these or if y'all slept on them. And also this morning, uh, because it is Saturday today, they released those, uh, what is it, the Nike on, on Air pack. I think it was, what, six shoes? I'll try to put a picture up here if I can get a picture, but yeah, it was like six shoes. So it was a bunch of shoes to go after. My two favorite were actually, I think it was the London pack, the 97s, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just going off of memory. I don't got nothing to look at. So the London pack and the Tokyo Air Max 1s, which I did actually hit on those. So be on the lookout. I'll be dropping a video maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on what time they get here, since I'll be working them days and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna drop my full review on those because I've seen some packaging details that got me even more hype on these shoes. So I'm definitely happy to get those and add them to the collection, especially for retail, because I probably wouldn't have paid uh, resale to be honest. Yeah, guys, I just wanted to chop it up, let you know what I thought of these shoes and whether I did go after them, which I was on the fence. So I got up early when to go check them out. And right now I already have recorded my outro, the end of the video. And for some reason it wasn't recording, so sorry about that. But yeah, guys, I'm not gonna go over it too, too crazy. And I actually forgot one part of this. The inside of the shoe, I didn't, I didn't even see that. I had never even looked inside the shoe, to be honest. It has the Nike Air with that pink insole, just straight pink. And it has a black Nike Air, in case you were wondering. And the interior is black, so yeah. But yeah, like I said, guys, comment down below. Let me know if you went after the shoes, if you just slept on them, if you were not even looking forward to them. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not everybody's cup of tea like anything. That's the good part about the sneaker game. When you don't like a shoe, just pass on it. Wait till the next release that comes out that you're going to go for or you're hype about and rock what you like. But anyway, guys, like I said, I'm still on the fence on these. I'm still stewing over it, whether I'm going to keep them or not. But I'm going to get out of here. I don't want to talk your ear off, guys. As always, hit that thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. So you too can be part of that 210 Guy Kicks fam. We are 1,500 strong already. I appreciate each and every one of y'all for rocking with the channel. Hitting that thumbs up and chopping it down below in the comments with me. 
But it's your boy Tony with 2 and 0 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Peace guys to the next one.